64 session studio and I brought my good buddy Chris Simmons back in and his band rightfully named the Chris Simmons Trio or Chris Simmons Band? Chris Simmons Band? Chris, Chris Simmons, Simmons Blues Trio, Chris Simmons Band. We'll go with whatever. Jesse and Brad. Whatever. Jesse and Brad. Brad's from Walker County. That's your ticket in here. Uh, you got grandfather? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, you used to play with the legendary Leon. That's true. Russell. Leon Russell, that's right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. How did you get that gig is what I want to know, really. <laughs> well, uh, I stole it from Jason Spiegel. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Seriously. Ser seriously, Jason Spiegel did play, that was in the spot uh, before I was. Walker County. Another yeah. Walker County, brother. Yeah. 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 Then Scott Boyer Jr. was in the spot before I was in it. Uh, 
But uh, now my good friend Zach Baker was Leon Russell's booking agent for a total of, I don't know, seven or eight years, something like that. But uh, he played in a band with me. We were friends, and uh, he needed some extra money because we weren't making any money when we lived in Austin. And uh, he got a job with an agency, and one of his artists happened to be Leon Russell. Yeah. And when Leon needed a guitar player, he asked Zach if he knew anybody. He goes, I happen to know some guitar players in Alabama. So that's how uh, Spiegel, Jason Spiegel, got the gig, uh, I guess. I mean, I, yeah, for sure, when something like Scott that. Scott Moore Jr., and then uh, when the position came open and I was asked, I said, hell yes, I would like that opportunity. Oh, uh, blame you. Uh, you how long did you do that out. for? Five years. Five right years. at five years. Right. And it was, uh, did you ever go national? Or was it just kind of U.S.? Now we went all over the world. That's what I thought um, was, it? We didn't go to South America or Africa while I was in the band, but we went, uh, you know, Canada, you went all over the U.S. As far as I can remember, I believe it was every state except for Alaska and Hawaii while I was in the band. Uh, Japan, Australia, uh, all over Europe, most of Europe. Yeah. Cool, man. You guys wrote some songs, right? I wrote two songs uh, with Leon. Um, Easy to Love on my first record and Hallelujah Man on my second one, the title track. Speaking of your records, let's talk about that because you play everything on all your records, correct? Just about uh, ninety-seven to ninety-eight percent. Yeah, uh, yeah. My first record, uh, old news to me. I did, I, you know, I just did everything all on my own. If I couldn't do it, I just didn't do it. Yeah. Now on Hallelujah Man, uh, if I felt like I couldn't get it the way I wanted to, uh, there came a point few songs where I wasn't playing the piano or the organ the way I wanted it. I'm not a pianist, I'm not an organist, I'm not a drummer, you know. Yeah. Uh, but in the studio, given enough time, I can get the sounds out of it. But there's a couple songs that I wasn't getting the sound. Um, so, um, I, uh, I thought, you know, I was trying to decide whether I could try a different instrument or whatever. But... I happened to... Uh, Auto tune wasn't working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, got, uh, I got Matt Slocum to play uh, piano and organ on um, uh, Farewell For Now on well, the Halloween yeah. Man. Well, he's not a Walker County native, but he lived here for a long time. Oh, did he? He grew up with my brother. Man. I didn't know. He went to high school in Walker. Yep, really? Yeah, really? Yep. I thought he's from here. He just lives in Birmingham now? Yeah, he was Murray. He's pretty famous. Yeah. yeah you got legit. to play with him and Jason Yeah, Spiegel. he is a little... Yeah. 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 That's right. That's, That's right. Cody, I did. Cody did. Yeah. Uh, I did a gig. Were you on that gig when yeah. we... It was Matt Slocum, Spiegel, yeah. and me. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the one I missed. The, the only one I missed. Yeah. We played... Yeah. We yeah. played... Caldwell's on the bass. Yeah. That's we, right. We yeah. played Zach Baker's yeah. wedding. And what the Slocum? Yes. Slocum was a keyboard that's right. player. That's right. And Zach, Zach, yeah, Zach, Zach all Zach, yeah, we all up. we were all there. That's, <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, serendipity. There it is. Mm, yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll be right back. I gotta Google what that means because I just pulled that one straight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it, though. Okay, cool. It's like uh, you know, you don't, you can't plan your whole life out, but you make a decision here. Because your gut leads you that way, your heart or your mind or whatever, you make a decision there, and then as you look back a few years, you realize how those decisions have brought you down the curvy road to where you are now, and how many of the same people end up being all connected. Yeah. You know, we're just musicians. We do what we love, and we follow our guts and our hearts, and then it ends up a line of some of the same people mm -hmm. are in that yeah. lifeline. For yeah. you know, we you know. So back to Leon, we're talking about, I think we got off subject a little bit, but we were talking about you writing some songs with him. Yeah, it was just so, it was really cool, the title track, The Hallelujah Man, I co-wrote that with Leon, and it's a really cool story because it's not like we sat down and said, hey, let's write a song together. We'd already written one, but this one was kind of unplanned. I had an idea and then, uh, for the song, but I, it was just kind of a seed of an idea, and I sat down one night. Uh, when I felt like it would be okay to, to do this and uh, for some reason I felt like it would be okay to sit down and, with my guitar and ask Leon if I could play him something and, and tell him that I needed some help just to see what he would do and I was as I was playing the riff to that song he started singing out lyrics you know 
So I grabbed my phone really quick, pressed record on the, the voice memo and kept playing it. He kept singing and uh, I took that, what we had done, we sat there for a few minutes and doing that and uh, I took what we had done and uh, wrote down and arranged the song and uh, went back to him and said, guess what, Leon? <laughs> You and I co-wrote a song last night, <laughs> and it's yeah. like, well, that's good, you know. Uh, it was, uh, you know, another another one of those uh, what, what, serendipitous yeah, things. Yeah, serendipitous you know? moment. Yeah, cool. nothing that was planned, yeah. but that's just, awesome. I just happened to get that feeling, I think I'm going to take my guitar up there and play Leon this this idea and see what happens. That's pretty cool. Know? But so, it wasn't even that planned, you know, right, it, was just, yeah. it just happened. He, and you would play it at the shows? Would he let you play it? Well, I never played that song. Uh, he would let me play a couple of solo songs mm -hmm. in the middle of the set. That's uh, cool. Yeah, the, we, the band would take a break, I'd play a couple of songs, and then I'd take a break and Leon would play a song or two. Uh, but that was extremely generous of Leon to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's let me, really cool. Let me yeah. show, showcase me during his set when all these people came out to see yeah. him, and then suddenly he's allowing me to showcase myself. Wow. That's very rare. It is, you know, yes. To have somebody yeah. that selfless, yeah. Yeah. That's really and then cool. you got to you got to meet a lot of a lot of good people too. You oh know, yeah, you know, that, oh yeah. That still are come out now and listen to us. You know, oh, like, right. the oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, great That's right. people. Yeah, yeah. The Leon lifers never forget that. Loyal. I'm a Leon lifer. You know. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of songwriting, though, I like to, I forgot I like to ask people, which people they're probably gonna roll their eyes because I ask everybody this. They're probably getting tired of me asking, but. I like to ask people about their songwriting process. Can you just kind of walk me through what a t I mean, they could differ. I'm sure it's mm -hmm. different every time. But well, yeah, I've studied on it, and I talked with Leon about it, and it is, a, it is something if you write a lot of songs that you think about and wonder how the best way to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. And some people uh, will get up every day, and they will try to write a song, or they will write a song, but that's just not what I do. Yeah. Uh, I write when I feel just uh, that inspiration that comes from where you don't know you don't I don't know where it comes from but I feel inspired and write a song and sometimes it's good sometimes it's not sometimes the inspiration lasts a, a minute and sometimes it'll last 20 minutes and that's when I write uh, because it seems like <clears throat> over the years if I've tried to write when I didn't feel like I was inspired I just have to go back and redo it later uh, yeah. You know, it's all subjective, but...
I got my first guitar when I was 12, uh, so a little over 30 years I've been playing guitar. I wrote my first song when I was 14. Uh, it was awful. You still remember it? Yeah, I don't remember the whole song. I remember the title. It was in you know minor key. You know, oh yeah, real it was very <laughs> had to be very <laughs> solemn. Angsty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was called uh, "Faint Cry in the oh. Darkness." Ooh, like pre emo. And I wonder how many 14 year olds. Have written Faint Cry in the Darkness. Yeah, Probably most of them can thousands. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. I have the piece of paper, you know, that I wrote it down on, but I I just decided to go ahead and leave that one in the past. Yeah. And then, you know, the next 20 or 30 songs, my songs were awful too. <laughs> so yeah. we can edit all of what yeah. I just said out. Oh. I want to hear some emo Chris Simmons. <laughs> emo Simmons. Yeah, did you paint your fingernails black? I did. Oh, yeah, we well, all did. Yeah. I did that. I'm pretty sure everybody. It was not then. Right. I did that I, when I, I joined Mars it. Electric. That's when I, I started. I thought you were in that band, dude. I did not. News know that. flash. Breaking news. You yeah, heard it. Yeah, that's when I started. Everybody. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Dude, I named the band. He was in the band before I was. <laughs> did y'all play at? Well, I'm sure. I guess you did. Um, Oak Mountain. No, oh. it was at. Um, what was that festival? That the War Fest. Uh, not the X, X Fest. Yeah, we did do X Fest. Yeah. That was the one outside, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that was that one. Mm -hmm. I remember, I don't know, I, I had to have been 15 or 16. I went to that thing. I remember that. That's the only band that I remember really? like, the entire year. Yeah. Yes, sir. I thought you, you guys played twice that year, didn't you? No, it was, you played with Owsley at x -Fest, didn't you? Yeah, I did do x -Fest with Owsley. Remember Owsley? Yeah. Mm-mm. -hmm. That was x -Fest 2.1 yeah, or whatever. And I did it with, I got to do it two years in a row. I guess I did. Guys, old. Hey man, <laughs> who was the singer in that in Mars Electric? Jacob Button. Jacob yeah, Jacob. Right. Button. Pretty sure he got down to his underwear. Yeah, yeah he, he did that. <laughs> we way, all you know? did on some nights. Yeah, the Jacob. Maybe that's was, why. Was I more regular. That's why you're right. It wasn't the music was so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No man, but I was like. I mean, I just thought y'all were the coolest thing. Now, the songs were great, the music was great, the band. It really was. We, we all looked cool, yeah. you know. We, yeah, you know, no we doubt. practiced and we did our best. Carl we Ray, I think, made y'all look good. That's, yeah, Carl was that's what that Just his arms. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> so, Jesse, you play, you grew up probably in church, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, that's when I started playing the drums. Yeah, I, I played trombone. Before that, like I started playing trombone in fourth grade, so that was like my formal musical education. Really? But so I, you learned how to read and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. But I wanted to play drums when I when I joined the school band, but they had to be drummers. So they were like, <laughs> "You look like a trombone player." Yeah. 
So that's what I played. But um, I started messing around with drums probably when I was about 14, 13, 14. And a friend of mine got me to come play at church with her, which was weird to me because I grew up Methodist and we didn't have drums at church oh, at that yeah. time. Yeah. And so uh, I was like, what? Play drums at church? <laughs> so I remember going to church and I, I was in this like cover band and uh, they had put a Budweiser like sticker in front of my drums because we were, were cool. That's right. And so I didn't think anything about it. And I remember after the first service, they were like, you're really good. You're going to have to take that off your drums. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah. Dude, one time, I got a similar story, but mine was a little worse. <laughs> we played it. We used to play at O'Malley's all the time for the Thursday Night All-Star mm -hmm. Jam. But one night, I thought it would be funny to write, to duct tape the F word across the front of my in bright orange cool. duct tape, okay? It was funny. It was funny at the time. <laughs> so the next night I have a church gig. And I'm like, oh, I remembered. It's on there. I got to get that off. It wasn't a church gig. It was, um, let me read it. It was my brother's band. It was his Christian band. It was that he got me to do the gig yeah. for. It wasn't. Like, <laughs> at my home, I wasn't going to church then. I just want to uh, put that out there. <laughs> but, so I remembered. I thought, oh, I got to take that off. So I took it off. But the it's sticky stuff was still on there. So you can see it plain right. as day, man. In the church, I was like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. well, we put something in front of it. I think I don't remember how it got <laughs> But how did you learn, man, playing drums? Did you read the drum? Like, um, drum charts not, and stuff? not initially. I, I learned how to do that later on. But Yeah, uh, I still don't know how to do yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, really. not I not just like learned how to play, you know, really listening to records and mm -hmm. You know, my parents, I was telling y'all earlier about me getting drums for Christmas, and my neighbor's like going, did your son get some drums? But I used to just get down there after school every day and, you know, put my headphones on and try to play, like, the only Led Zeppelin album that I could, like, halfway play was uh, the one with, like, In the in the Evening, I guess, In Through the Outdoor, because yeah. it was so straight. Yeah. So I was like, I'm doing it! Yeah. I'm doing it! And uh, I'd have friends come over, you know, and... You know, they they we'd all plug into the same amplifier. Right. I didn't have any simple stands. I broke them all. So we were in my basement with rafters like this, and I had a rope, and I put the rope through the symbol. So every time I hit it, I had a duck it was like a guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, lots of trial and error. Me learning how to play drums. Glad you did. Well, you. I just thought. I mean, really, I did love it. And I, I mean, I knew when I was little I wanted to play drums. But like mm -hmm. I said, they. We're like, no, you you can't play drums, but the, the drums eventually came to. They came. They found you. Yeah, so those on those ropes. Yeah, those symbols, man. Dodge. <laughs> Thank you.
mercenary these days right you just kind of play with everybody i play the gigs that pay the money i guess yeah whoever, whoever needs a bass player who's some of the bands that you play with right now i'm playing with uh obviously chris simmons band yeah. uh matt bennett playing with matt bennett a lot i think over the past three weeks we've been to st louis memphis myrtle beach nashville the tin roof thing? a lot of tin roofs yeah yeah um Shoot, you know, I play with uh, old Trey Lewis band every now and again when he needs to fill in or, you know, just whoever, whenever. Play with, uh, who plays down in Obila? Who do you know in <clears throat> Usually that's, uh, we went down there with Matt Bennett one time and the Dirt Star thing. Dirt Star, that's right. Yeah, John died. Yeah. So we used to play in a band together called Copper Line. Some people might have heard of. Old country, country, country band. Yeah, yeah. Old outlaw country. We played both kinds of music. <laughs> country and western. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> Back in the glory days. They simpler times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a lot less kids then, I think. Well, we had a bus and everything. No, we were pretty legit. Wow. <laughs> we were big time. We yeah. thought we were. Yeah, we acted we like it. Dude, that was some of the funnest times of my life. Seriously, man. That was like, because I didn't really get to go to college. I mean, I went to Bevel and UAB, you know. College. Oh, that was a lot more fun than college. Dude, <laughs> that was way more fun. It's a good education, too. Road college, yeah. That's a good we college. got to go to every 
college party. We got to do like the fun stuff at other colleges, and we didn't have to pay the. You go to multiple <laughs> colleges, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We got paid to be there instead of paying. Yeah, that's the only college I ever got. Was exactly. Playing the fraternity parties. Yeah. And felt like I was in college, college for like eight to ten years or something. I <laughs> Dude, I literally I was at a two year institution for about six years. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true story. But hey, I got it done. Hey. <laughs> Got her done. Well, you got that piece of paper. Yeah, that's all that matters, man. That piece of paper is kind of important, unfortunately. I don't know. I've got one. I don't do anything with it. True. <laughs> I played a band. I played a band. I went to. Yeah. I went to an expensive school. I know. We both had degrees band. that had nothing to do with music. Yeah. What so. you major in? He's I a got my BS man. and BS. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you, sir? <laughs> oh gosh, I am a cytologist. Or what? Yeah, Scientologist. No, no, no. <laughs> for sure not Scientologist. This interview's over. Yeah, I'd like to hear more. No, no you I don't. didn't know they had drums at their church. So yeah. basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what I do is I stare in a microscope all day looking for cancerous cells. Wow. In a nutshell, he's changed lives. Yes, he is. Uh, it's pretty boring. Sounds important. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, and I get to daydream a lot. Hence, I was like. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah. Glad, yeah. glad you followed us through on it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been really fun. That's what I was saying earlier, it's I get to invite my friends over to my house and play music in my garage. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Man. When's the last time y'all done that? It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody needs a garage, man. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Well, where's the next gig, man? Where can everybody find you? And tell me your social media and all that jazz. I think we're done for the year of the band. I don't know. Yeah. I am too. Man. Got a couple of little party, private party things here and there. What about New Year's? You got a New Year's gig? Uh, yeah, I'll be playing a New Year's so. gig, but it won't be with these guys. We're playing uh, oh, yeah. At I the Daniel play. Day Gallery. It's a, kind of a amalgamation of some really great... Birmingham musicians. That's a cool place too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's he's a good good people there. Yeah, they treat you right, man. Really, they're cool as heck. Yeah, I so, gotta go to the beach, right. play with West Loper. The old West Loper project's getting back together for a uh, few really? years. Who's playing drums? I don't know. Probably Will. I don't. I, don't, I have no idea, honestly. But it's not me. Or he had not asked me. So, huh? as of now, I don't. Well, somebody asked me about a New Year's game, but it was like an acoustic thing. Right? You're going to play the home. home. Let's yeah. stay home with the kids. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. do that. You know, that ain't about all that. What about you, Jesse? What do you got next? I'm doing, uh, this weekend I'm going to Nashville to play at Bourbon Street. Uh, Who with? Uh, uh, Ruth. Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann, yeah. What the hell? How and, about uh, that? Yeah, and Manny Cole. Yeah. Uh, that played bass. Uh, well, tell Ruth Ann I said hey. I certainly will. Yeah. I actually talked to her the other day. It's the first time I talked to her in a long Yeah, Ruth's time. great. <clears throat> yeah, she, she asked me about girl. that, but I, I got, I'm out. We out of town. Yeah, so. Family business yeah. stuff. Where's Bourbon Street going? Over like Printer's Alley, maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what else is over there? Brass Tables. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, <laughs> karaoke. That's what you, I mean. I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't really frequent over there when I was in there <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. What day are you going up? I'm probably gonna grow up, go up Saturday now because I picked up a gig Friday. We'll pick up a gig. Pick up? That's what we do, man. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. the phone rings like, yeah, I can be there. Exactly. Yeah. If I don't have anything to do already. What about social media? Is it all Chris Simmons? Yeah. Chris Simmons? Well, I mean, everybody's got their. Well, I don't do social media. Uh, yeah. yeah. GetChrisSimmons.com. We're a band. Get we are a band. Yeah. yeah. We're a band. Yeah. We well, actually band. are. Chris Simmons yeah. Blues Trio. Yeah. <laughs> So you do have a website? Yeah, getchrissimmons.com, and then there's uh, Chris Simmons Band on Facebook. And you have merchandise on your website? I do, yeah. Shirts you can, you can get shirts, uh, CDs, stickers, CD I think. Man. I Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have stickers, and maybe you can order a guitar pick if anybody needs guitar picks with my name on it. It's got your name on it? Yeah. Or, or is, well, the, the ones I have now just have the CSB logo. The Very cool. Yes. Yeah. I have that on my car. It's kind it's of electric. Yeah. It's very good. It's lifted from the Memphis Mafia. Take care of business. <laughs> CSB, baby. Yeah. Maybe they will get that. Maybe not. Maybe not. They didn't come out there when we were in Memphis, though. 
for you. So. Yes, yeah. We're clear. In the clear. Yeah, we're we're clear. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Thanks for coming in, fellas. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being awesome. Nice. I'm yeah. really excited yeah. about this one, dude. It sounded really good. Really Thank good. So, Thank you, man. Enjoy it. Good, good to see yep. you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks hey, for having you, us. Man. See y'all. Let me see how long that was. <laughs> <laughs>